President Biden, President Trump debate analysis. Just wanted to get on here and do a video. It is indeed your boy Tim, that liberal First Amendment guy with the MAGA hat. Wanted to talk to you about uh, last night's debate. I'm assuming millions of you folks watched it. We'll be doing a live later on. You know we always debate with MAGA. We don't block, ban, or censor anyone for their commentary. Right off, Biden had a horrible night. Anyone trying to spin it or suggest that Biden did well in any way, fashion, or form is simply being misleading. Very, very bad night for President Biden. He did have a few one-liners suggesting that Trump had the morals of an alley cat, called Trump a sucker, a loser, tried to compare their golf games. But at the end of the day, I have a relative that is not deeply uh, involved in politics, and even he referred to it as, it looks like a debate between a con artist and a man on hospice. Wow. So Biden's side, now that the debate is concluded, are trying to say that Biden had a cold. Bullshit. Fact is, you don't mumble and stumble like that when you have a cold. Maybe your voice is hoarse, coughing, things like that. He came across as an individual that was simply having a very difficult time finding his words. And then, of course, early on, he lost his train of thought in the middle of the conversation. This is what everybody was looking for, folks. Everybody was paying attention due to Trump doing an excellent job suggesting that Biden can't string together a sentence, can't walk off stage, doesn't know where the hell he's at. So folks were going to be focusing on Biden more for his cognitive abilities than what he was actually saying. And he failed the cognitive ability test. My humble opinion, Biden went below expectations and Trump actually exceeded expectations. Now, I know some of my folks on the left may not favor what I just stated, but I'll explain why. And I'm not, we'll, we'll talk about Trump on, uh, in regards to what happened as well. But before we saw the debate, what were we expecting? Talking about folks on the left, maybe the independents. MAGA thought Biden was a bumbling buffoon from day one. We get that. But independents and folks who were more favorable to Biden expected Biden to come out on stage, dignified, professional, Cognitive abilities on point, like at the State of the Union address, like when Biden did the ultra MAGA speech where the background was red with two Marines standing by at the ready. That is the Biden folks expected last night among the liberals and progressives. We didn't get that Biden. We got a Biden that was far more visually deteriorated. What did we expect of Trump? Trump was expected to behave in a manner of the first debate between Biden and Trump, where Biden told him, won't you shut up, man, where Trump could not control himself. He was constantly talking over Biden. Fact is, that is the reason why they were turning off the damn mics last night, is that they expected Trump to act like a fool. But in reality, what did we see? We saw Biden come out there and completely below expectations, and Trump was fairly well kept. He didn't come across as wild or crazy at all. So I would tell you in regards to cognitive abilities, behavior, Trump actually exceeded expectations and Biden fell below them. Now, we can talk about the uh, fact checking suggested Trump told a few dozen lies 31, I think I've seen on one poll or one site. He got out there saying things like uh, he was still saying that he never slept with Stormy Daniels. He's still blaming Nancy Pelosi for January 6th and things like that. Yeah, Trump is not honest. Whoop de freaking do. The fact is, Trump gets the win because Trump telling lies has become kind of commonplace. Nobody really gives a damn if he lies, particularly with MAGA. MAGA's mindset is as long as you protect the border, give us an economy that is favorable to my wallet, and make us look strong on the military stage, or better yet, on the global stage worldwide, 
You can really lie about whatever the hell you want. And that's kind of what happens, at least from the MAGA side of the aisle. President Trump, you know, I'm, I'm the best and brightest. I know more about COVID than anybody. I know more about the, the war on the ground than the generals. I mean, he's known for exaggerating. So when he gets out there and tell a few lies, I mean, it's, it's kind of the Trump you've kind of come to know and expect. So Trump didn't come out and do anything that was not typical ordinary Trump, with the exception of he was actually well behaved on stage. So folks are going to give President Trump the win. Biden coming out there and losing his way early on just really left folks who may favor Biden liberals and progressives just on cringe alert the entire time now there are a few things before we wrap the video up that does benefit biden number one this is the earliest presidential debate in history so there is a few months for biden to look more dignified look more together and hold a second debate i believe the second one is in august so there is another debate coming and there does that does leave some time for Biden to clean up his act somewhat. Ronald Reagan, we remember his debate when he was debating with Mondale talking about uh, age and inexperience and how he really trounced uh, Mondale. Many folks don't talk about the first debate. Ronald Reagan came across as really old during the first debate as well, but it's kind of fell to the annals of history because he did so well in the second debate. So that can... This is not the end for Biden, but it just simply does not look good at all. Not only does Biden have going for him that this is the earliest debate in history, so he does have a little time to correct himself. I strongly believe that the biggest asset to Biden is his foe, is President Trump. I know my MAGA viewers are going to hate me for saying this. Nevertheless, this is free speech. If Biden was running against the likes of Nikki Haley or Chris Christie that does not have the huge unfavorable numbers of Trump, it would be over with. I do believe it would be over with. If Nikki Haley came out there looking dignified or Chris Christie came out there or hell, even maybe Vivek or Ron DeSantis for that matter came out there. They don't have the huge unfavorable numbers. They don't have a lot of the negatives from Trump. Everything about Trump's presidency is not positive. There's a lot of folks still uh, finding January 6th very problematic. Now, I know last night Trump, just to get off topic for a short minute, I know Trump still blames Nancy Pelosi for January 6th, suggesting she didn't provide proper security. I don't think a lot of folks are buying it for the simple fact is Trump owes it, at least to MAGA and the protesters that showed up there that day to show them proof that what they defended him for, which is stop the steal, he's suggesting he won by a landslide, he owes those folks proof that what they paid plane tickets, bus tickets, and came out there for actually happened. He hasn't proven that he won the election by a landslide. He may have shown information suggesting there were potential acts of fraud, but fraud doesn't translate to Trump winning by a landslide. So he owes the folks that went out there to defend him that day to show how the Democrats were still in the election and how he won by a landslide. He hasn't proved that. By the way, there's no one on the Republican side of the aisle of any significance. Talking about senators, talking about Republican senators, Republican Congress, suggesting that the election was stolen from Trump. I don't think there's anyone in his own administration who would have gotten a second term had he proved the election was stolen. None of them are even saying that the election was stolen from us because they would have all served and won as well. None of his own administration are out there saying that the election was stolen. So I do believe he owes it to his own side to prove what he's saying. Talk about Pelosi all you want, but at the end of the day, you should show that they came out here for a legitimate reason. A lot of those folks lost their freedom, lost their jobs, reputation, image, and even their lives in regards to Ashley Babbitt. But that's a whole different story. But at the end of the day, yeah, Biden failed miserably. Uh, bringing up that Trump told some lies and things like that. I don't think that's going to really sway anybody. Trump was Trump last night. 
and he came across as powerful, confident, well-spoken, even while stating things like, I never slept with Stormy Daniels. He says that with such confidence that you question, did he really do it? Now, you're truly, I believe he absolutely banged the porn star, but he speaks with confidence. Biden claiming he had a cold, mumbling, stutter, not stuttering, but kind of hesitate, hesitating, the wide-eyed, open-mouth stare. It, it just doesn't come across as if you have a cold. And his people probably, if he did, should have stopped him from coming on stage. He had debate prep with 12 people for, what, a week, two weeks? They knew he looked like that, and they sent him out on stage. Shame on all of them. Nevertheless, folks, there will be a second debate. We'll see what happens on July 11th when Trump faces sentencing, if that makes any difference at all. But if we're simply judging things by last night's debate, Biden looked awful. What did you think? I want to get your uh, response in the comments. Who do you think won the debate? Does it change your mind at all? If you lean left, if you lean right, did you see anything in the debates last night? that changed your mind at all. Let your boy know in the comments. Feel free to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.